Hi guys, it is Vlogmas day three. Um, toning down the makeup look today. I've had some crazy looks the past couple days. Just a little natural ish. <laughs> but, what is it, four days in a row now I've done my makeup? And I have noticed that I am way more confident. And I don't mind getting pictures taken as much, and it's just been a good thing. And it's nice to have just that little bit of time for myself to kind of, uh, even if it's just more natural makeup. I like it. It's fun. I should do this every day. Should. And then, look, people can't tell if I've had zero sleep, three hours or ten hours. Cover up those dark circles. But we have to run and get a few things at the stores. Uh, later on we've got Fitz's birthday party, his first birthday party, oh! <laughs> Last year at this time I was visiting Laura in the hospital. Alright, see you later. Bye. Oh, Look at the name. Like disgusting. Oh, I got the sister here! <laughs> that the birthday boy! <laughs> Boo! Stop it! <laughs> Hi guys! Um, yes, it is Sunday night. I wanted to film a, like a Christmas question video. I found some cool questions online and I thought that I would answer them. I only really looked at maybe one or two of the questions, so it will be a surprise as we go. And I'm drinking a little hot chocolate. And no, it's not even sugar-free hot chocolate, but it's one of the Keurig ones. It only has like six grams of sugar in the whole thing, and I watered it down with some milk. I'll probably drink like half of it and be done, but oh, it tastes so good. It tastes like Christmas in a cup. Ooh, I can't reach my dresser over there. So, it's been a busy day. This morning, as soon as we got up, we got ready and we went to Menards and got some shopping done and we had to go to Cashwise and get my husband's free turkey from his work. Um, and then we got ready, brought all the groceries in, unloaded, quick wrapped the birthday present, drove 45 minutes away to the party and it was so cute. I think I've already or will insert the video a quick little scan of the room video in here. Um, the theme was Lumberjack, so that's why I'm wearing this. Um, a bunch of my family came dressed up for the Lumberjack theme. Um, yes, so I'm just going to get into the questions, answer them, and that will be the end of Vlogmas Day 3 for you. Um, so the first question, are you excited about Christmas? If you know me but at all, you know that I am very excited. Oh, it's so fun, like, having a little girl. Sorry if you hear my dog. She is up here. Um, excuse me. I remember last year or the year before, probably every year my child has been alive, I have gotten up super early because I am so excited for her to open presents. Hold on a second. Well, I let her out of her kennel to go back downstairs and she jumped in the basket of all of the clean folded clothes. Great. Giant black lab. <sighs> anyway, I have always woken up really early and I just wanted, I couldn't wait any longer to wake up my child so that she can have Christmas. It's insane. And last year we had to wait to open presents till like 11 or 11.45 or 30 or something. I don't know. For his mom to come because we invited her to Christmas. She's all, please wait. I wanted to go to church first and then just have Kelly wait to open her presents. And I was like, you expect a three-year-old then to wait to open presents till almost noon. So we let her open a couple and then she waited for most of them till grandma got here. Um, yeah, so I love Christmas, everything about it. I love wandering through the stores and like through there, like Menards has like all these Christmas trees set up and like little walkways in between them. And I'm like, it's a Christmas wonderland. I love it. I don't even mind when it gets set up before Thanksgiving. I can't help it. I love it. Okay, number two. What are your favorite things about Christmas? I think I have answered some of that already. But living in Minnesota, it's like, it's usually snowy and beautiful outside. I love the Christmas music. I love that people are into giving. I love everything. 
everything. I love going to church and singing the Christmas songs. I love that we used to go Christmas caroling many, many, many years, unless it's like 30 below zero. We will go and wander to like the hospitals and some different houses of people we know and just all kinds of places and go Christmas caroling. Um, we go to the DAC, which is like developmentally disabled people. We go sing to them. Um, I love when my whole family gets together. It used to be my whole family. Now it's my whole family that lives in Minnesota. I miss getting together with mom and dad and everybody out there, but we love them. And I think we've called them or Skyped them in the past while we're all getting together. Um, but yeah, I just love the family and the atmosphere and the games and the just getting together and being like, I love you. Here's a present that I've picked out that's perfectly suited for you. And I love the shopping. Okay. I better keep these short and sweet or we could be here all night. Okay, number three. What are your three favorite Christmas songs? Oh my goodness, only three. Well, um, my favorite ever Christmas CD was the Statler Brothers Christmas because it just reminds me of growing up home with my family. We always used to listen to that. I remember stealing the tape and like putting it in my Walkman and playing it over and over and over on Christmas Day. Um, I also grew up like with my mom playing like Vince Gill Christmas and Amy Grant Christmas stuff. Um, right now I'm loving Pentatonix. Um, what is that, Mary, did you know? I was in a like special choir in high school and we sang that one. It was called Corlears. It's such a beautiful song. I absolutely love it. And there's the Hallelujah one that my daughter knows um, on the Pentatonix CD. But I love a lot of Christmas songs. Sorry, that was probably more than three. Um, what are your three favorite Christmas movies? Okay, Christmas time. I must watch Home Alone. Like, all of them, but most importantly, the first one. I love Elf. Um, ooh, I love, what is it, Family Stone. And I really love the really old, like, Frosty the Snowman and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Those ones that I grew up watching. But those ones I really, really love. Oh, and all growing up, we used to watch, well, not all growing up. I don't even know when it came out. But uh, Little Women with Winona Ryder and, what is it, Chris, whatever. That one. Always used to watch it at Christmas time. Um, how much sleep do I usually average on Christmas Eve? How much sleep do I ever average? Um, I don't even know. I usually go to bed late getting everything ready and I usually get up super early. So not much, maybe four or five hours of sleep, maybe on a good year, on a good night ever. Um, what do I want for Christmas? I would like the whole season of, whole season, whole series of Harry Potter. People in Nanny for they have gotten me into it and I'm like, now I like it. Um, I like, I want some art supplies. I'm really into knee-high socks. I don't know. Makeup? I'm not, I just had a wedding and wedding receptions and shower and I've got tons of stuff. So I don't really need anything. I want to have fun with my family and play games and just spoil the people around me. That's more fun. Um, do I like flurries, blizzard, or no snow on Christmas? What I would love is my whole family to get together and for us all to be, like, stuck in a blizzard and not be able to leave for, like, three days and just spend time with each other. I love my family. What can I say? And not just, like, my little family of my husband and my daughter, but, like, I have five brothers and two sisters, and I genuinely love and love spending time with them. They're a bunch of goofballs. Everybody loves each other. I just, it's a good group of people. I enjoy spending time with them. So that is what I would like. A giant blizzard where we're all snowed in together. Um, what was my favorite gift I have ever got? This was, I was probably 14, 15, and everybody was getting snowboards and like nice snowboards. And it was the in thing and I knew everybody was going to get one. I really, 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 really wanted one. But the thing is... I'm the seventh out of eight kids. Both of my parents worked their butts off to give us everything that we ever had. And we had decent stuff. It may not have been the name brand or whatever, but they tried to keep up on things and get us things that we really, really wanted. And I remember 
like I was, I think I was maybe the first year I was at boarding school. So they were already paying like $14,000 for me to attend for one year because I lived in the dorm. And so they didn't have any extra money, but I really, really, really wanted it. Um, so I remember we, we used to open presents on Christmas Eve. We had opened everything and I could see that there was no giant present in the shape of a snowboard. So we opened up everything and mom and dad go, hmm, I think we forgot a present. And they're like, in the water softener room, they're like, hey, Joeth, go in there and grab that last present that's in there. And I walked in and there was a giant, like, snowboard shaped present wrapped. And I just remember, I didn't care what brand it was or whatever, but mom and dad tried so hard to get me something that I really, really wanted. And that was like, they had surprised me at the very end and I was trying to be like, I don't care if I didn't get it, whatever. And then I got it. So I was so excited. And it was like a cheap Walmart brand that you just like jump in and with your regular boots and like strap it down, but I didn't care. We lived in the middle of nowhere with hills all around us, so I snowboarded down those hills. I didn't care. It was very, very sweet of them. Um, a real or artificial tree? I've done both, but I love, it has been so special um, going to pick out our tree and chopping it down and like it smells so good in the house. And I grew up in like the woods, so I love a real tree, but you can still have a beautiful, special Christmas, even with the fake one. Um, what is my favorite ornament? I think growing up, it was like all of our ornaments that mom saved forever that were like the big kids and they had made this in school or whatever. It was like all those homemade cool ones that you would see pulling them out and you're like, oh, I remember that one and I remember that one. It's just, it was all weird homemade ones that I just loved. Um... Do you like giving or receiving presents more? Definitely giving. I mean, it's super fun to open presents and get cool things that you want. But I absolutely love shopping for, like, the perfect gift for each person. And to be, like, put thoughtful touches and just, I love just the personal thing. Like, I know you so good that I can get things that I know you've dropped hints at and things that you you love and just... I love giving people gifts. It's super fun for me. I'm a people pleaser. I love to make people happy. So why not? When do you open presents? Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? So all growing up, we would open all of our presents Christmas Eve. And then Christmas Day, we would get our stocking full of little gifts and stuff. Um, but now in our own household, I think I let Callie open like one or two presents on Christmas Eve and then she gets the rest of everything on Christmas Day. I'm not sure which one I like better. Um, star or angel on top of your tree? I think we've had both growing up, but we have an angel right now. When do you put up your decorations? As soon as I can. Usually it's like the day after Thanksgiving, but this year we had all the wedding stuff and the second reception, so we just waited till this weekend. When do you normally go Christmas shopping? <laughs> I'm actually, like, done. Um, everything is still rolling in from Amazon, but pretty much before Thanksgiving or near Thanksgiving, I don't know, actually all year round because I get little trinkety things um, to do, like, the games with my family. So I guess I shop Christmas all year round. Um, When does the Christmas season officially start for you? <laughs> Kind of for me is, is as soon as it is like a real snow and it looks beautiful and Christmassy outside. Uh, this year is way earlier for me than any other year. I don't know why. Generally in my head it starts the day after Thanksgiving. But sometimes it starts a little bit earlier whenever I so choose. Okay. So number 10. What is... I already answered that. What's my favorite ornament? Where am I? I burnt these off. They were on my phone, but I can't videotape myself and look at them at the same time. Okay, what is better? The weeks leading up to Christmas, Christmas Eve, or Christmas Day? That depends. I don't know. I think Christmas Eve is very special for me. Probably because growing up, we used to all get together and open our presents then. So it still is super special for me. Even if I'm just home with my family, it's like, you know that the next day is just all about family. You get to relax. Well, I don't know that I really get to relax because I'm usually cooking all day, but that's kind of relaxing for me. But I just know that I have a whole day left. Like usually if you work, you're done with work and you're like, 
oh, I get a day off tomorrow to just be with my family. And I don't know. I'd say Christmas Eve. All right. When do you start answering Christmas? When do you start answering Christmas questions on answers? I think we're going to skip that question. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Do you believe in Santa Claus? This reminds me of one of the Statler Brothers uh, songs. It's like, I'm not going to sing it right now, <laughs> but it's like you believe in the spirit of Santa Claus. So I definitely do. It's like doing special things for people without them knowing or, you know, like a secret Santa. I do believe in that kind of Santa Claus. Um, do I usually stay home on Christmas or go out? Uh, a lot of times lately, since I have like a tiny house that all needs to be remodeled and I have a teeny little kitchen, I usually cook everything or cook a bunch of stuff, bring it over to Lauren and Jonah's house, and then we have like a little Christmas day celebration meal thing over there. But just with family. Um, have you ever had a miserable Christmas? Yes. One year... I had my eardrum rupture on Christmas Day. I was just like crying and miserable. And my dad, my dad is like a little witch doctor, I swear. He knows all kinds of herbs and weird things to like heal a person. And he put a bunch of things in a jar, put it up to my ear, and it made my ear numb. And like, I was like, huh, I don't know what you did, but it's working. And then the next day we went to urgent care and I had to be on, you know, medicine. But that day, like, I just remember it hurt so bad. Um... But yeah, I was in pain, just huddled up on my bed all Christmas Day. I think one year, everybody was over at our house, which all my older siblings and their kids and whatever, and everybody got the flu. Everyone was puking. There was no, we had one bathroom. I had like garbage cans and puke buckets, and that was a little bit of a miserable year too. Um, I don't know what that question is either. How much do you normally spend on a person? I don't think it has anything to do with money. Uh, with Dennis, usually I get him one or two, maybe three biggish presents between $50 to $100, and the rest are kind of little things that I find here or there. Cool t-shirts and fun. He's got a cool giant Nerf gun this year, too. But I, I'm a very thrifty person, so I get things on sale. I get things on sale with a promo code, like... I am shopping all of the deals leading up to, you know, I try not to spend a ton of money, but I probably spend more than I should because I love Christmas shopping. But yes, I try to be super thrifty. And my family doesn't really, this year we aren't exchanging gifts at all. Usually we get like one $10 guy gift or $10 girl gift and do like a mix up exchange type thing. Or we get like, one year we had a white elephant Christmas. That was pretty fun, except for I had a Ziploc bag with my brother's hair in it, and it said Sasquatch hair on it, and I was like, that is not an acceptable present. <laughs> There's some other stuff in that, too, but he's, my family's a bunch of weirdos, goofballs, oh my word. Oh my word, I can't even believe how long I've been on here. I'm almost done. What is your Christmas meal? So, since my family is Seventh-day Adventist, and we do not eat pork, we do not make a ham, we usually have... Um, a, pretty much another Thanksgiving meal with turkey and stuffing and everything. Um, but this year I think my one brother has requested beef brisket. So sometimes we can switch it up, but we'll have all the other stuff. The staples, the mashed potatoes, the, the deliciousness. But yes, we do not eat ham. What is it? All right. I'll talk to you guys later. I love you. Merry Christmas. All right. Talk to you later.